Hello and welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven. Tonight we're going back to the Oho Sunshine camera glasses. I got a message today from Sliced Page. He was having an issue with his glasses not recording the audio. So I saw some possible errors in his config files so I fixed that and gave it back to him and he said that that still didn't work. Even standing on his head did not work either. <laughs> so <laughs> although I've never tried that technique before but sometimes I've felt like it but now I don't have to try because I know it won't work the last reply that he sent me he was wondering if we could get into the glasses because I can't help wondering if it is something as simple as the SD card that's inside of these glasses so I was like you know what thank you so much for that suggestion because that gave me a great idea for a video so that's what we're going to do right now so let's go to the bench right now so here we go all right here we are you'll see in a minute why I have my multimeter sitting out here okay now this let's we're gonna zoom in here so we can see better and then I gotta try to remember to stay in camera okay this right here is where you plug in your USB cord to plug it into the computer and to charge it right here in case somebody doesn't know if you're having issues with your glasses the first thing you want to try is this right here there's a little hole right here beside the power button it's a reset button and you have to stick something in there and push it to reset it that would be the first thing you might want to try if you're having issues we are going to take it a step further and we're going to tear into these things and see if we can in fact remove the SD card if there is one in here and replace it with a different one okay so you'll see right here it's hard to see on this block right up here is a piece of rubber plug and the reason that's the reason I brought my multimeter out because it has real sharp points and then I can get in there I don't want to lose this so I have to be careful and pry that out because underneath of there if you see that is a screw all right so let's take this screw out that thing would be super easy to lose so yeah be careful let's uh, put the little rubber plug there all right now let's take our little pry tool here and see how easily this pops out hopefully it pops out pretty easy and I might I might have to do a big Clive thing and say one moment please <laughs> Okay, so there is the SD card. Wow, look at that. If I'm not mistaken, that says Samsung. So you know what? That's kind of a bummer because now I'm thinking maybe it's not an SD card issue because Samsung, that's pretty good quality card. But anyway, we're still going to test it. It's hard to do this and still keep it in the camera. There's a some glue here that has a hold on the SD card to keep it from popping out I guess and that's probably a good idea but okay let's see can we get this out come on wow well yeah you can get the card out but boy they sure don't make it easy okay there it comes wow all right yeah just be careful getting that out of there wow that does I mean because that chip right there is right in line with that card so you have to kind of like I don't have much of fingernail so you have to pick it up a little bit in the rear and try to get it over this little chip let's take this card and put it in the computer and see if we can see what's on the drive all right let's take a look see all right and I do have everything set to show hidden files and folders well that's odd okay well that's a bummer all right so let's go ahead and open my partition wizard let's select the SD card let's do a surface scan this 128 gigabyte SD card is probably going to take a while but let's go ahead and start this and see what happens Okay, service scan complete, no errors found. All 
All right, so let's scan the unallocated part of this disk and see. No errors found. Let me see what the properties on this. This is EX fat as well. Okay, now this is the SanDisk card. This is the card that came out of the glasses. Let's copy the configuration file over to the SanDisk card. I'm going to leave this in here because I want to make sure that it erases all of this. Okay, let's update the configuration. 1080p 30. Uh, I'm going to put 30 minute segments. 24M on the photo size. And I'm going to format it. And then we're going to save this. And then just before, like I said in the other video, before you actually eject this and put it in the glasses, let's double click this just to make sure everything was saved. Okay, that's turned to yes. That was changed to 30. And the format was changed to yes. Okay, so it did save it. Now let us eject the card. We'll eject both cards. Okay, now go back to the bench. All right, now let's see if we can put this SanDisk card inside of here. Okay, now I'm not going to put it all back together right now. I'm just going to test this. So let's start by pressing the power button once. Then the red light is now blinking, so that means it's recording and it should have reformatted this so now we need to go and plug this into the computer to stop the recording we only have to hit the power button once to stop the recording and then the light will solidly go red so now to turn it off just hold the power button down for a few seconds one two three four five okay for about five seconds and then it will power off now let's go back over to the computer and let's use the cable that came with the glasses plug into the computer and let's see if it truly formatted the SD card and it did all the the other two folders are gone okay so now one of the things that sliced page was concerned about is that when he recorded a video this up here went back to an end well it does that automatically and the reason that it does that is so every time you turn the glasses on it doesn't go and try to update the configuration all the time you have to come in every single time you want to do something and change this to a yes before it will make any updates that you make here available in the glasses okay so everything looks good all right so let's go back to the bench uh, first I want to make sure that I eject my camera glasses always make sure you eject it be instead of just unplugging it because unplugging it could cause damage to the SD card not just in these glasses but in any camera or any flash drive you would plug in so let's go back to the bench. Well, that's a bummer. All right, well, there you go, Steve. Oh, now we gotta see if we can get this card back out of here. Okay, I got it out. All right, so I might as well just go ahead and put the Samsung card back in there because obviously there's nothing wrong with that. Wow. And I'm assuming that right there is probably with the ROM. It may be an issue in the ROM where a lot of people are having problems. But like I said, always first you want to try stick a, a little pin down in there and press the reset button. And hopefully that might fix an issue that you're having. All right, so let's put the mic back in its hole here. Put the Kapton tape back on it if it'll stay and it won't doesn't look like it will stay but I can fix that I have Kapton tape all right let's get this little teeny screw back in here without losing it or should I say before we lose it because I don't have any little teeny screws I don't think to replace this if I lost it. Now 
All right, now we got it back together. Okay, Slice Page. Well, the Samsung card that's in it, that's a pretty good card. So, I mean, honestly, I was I was kind of hoping there was going to be a really junky card in there that was probably causing the issue. So I'm assuming at this point that it's in the ROM of the glasses. Probably a firmware update would fix it. But I went on their website and I didn't see any information about firmware updates. Inside these glasses, you can remove the SD card and put a new one in, but as you saw, I did a scan on the SD card and it found no errors on the drive at all. So I don't know at this point what to say other than if you take yours apart and you pull the SD card out and put another one in it and then it starts working, please, please let us know in the comments. If you have the ability, scan it to see if there's any issues with it, like bad sectors. That's the most important thing you want to check with a hard drive is bad sectors. One bad sector in a hard drive, just one, will render it more than likely useless. Just let us know what you find out. It kind of sounds stupid for me to say, I hope this has helped you but maybe it has. But anyway, take care of yourself, take care of each other, find someone that needs a reason to go on and give them that reason. Find someone that needs to laugh and make them laugh. God bless each and every one of us and I will see you in the next one.